Hello friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So students, in this video we are going to discuss about Nathostomiasis. So it is also called as Larva Migres Profundus. It is mainly caused by two different types of parasites. So what are they? The Nathostoma spiny germ and another one is Nathostoma hispidum. So either of this one will cause the Nathostomiasis. So now I am going to explain to you the life cycle of Nathostoma spiny germ or else the life cycle will be same in the Nathostoma hispidum also. So either of this you can understand yourself. So I am going to explain to you the life cycle of this parasite which will be which involves to cause the disease called as Nathostomiasis. So now if you see here normally in this life cycle there are totally five hosts which will be involved such that it causes damage to the human body right and among those hosts human host is also one of them and here what are those hosts and how it causes damage to the human body and how it causes infection to the human body each and everything will be explained for you in detail now so listen properly so now let us begin the life cycle here so now the life cycle begins with definitive hosts so definitive host examples you can take like pigs dogs and cats so make sure these definitive hosts are infected with gnatostomiasis which means that these Definitive host contains Nathostoma spinigerum or as Nathostoma hispidum type of parasites in its stomach. So it releases the eggs by the reproduction process, right? And here that eggs will be released out by the fecus material which will be excreted by the pigs and dogs or as cats, right? So normally we know that this, all of these animals will move towards the water sources like if you take ponds or as lakes, it will move toward that places. And once it moves toward those places, then it starts releasing its fecus material right and once the fecus material is released then the eggs will also be released along with the fecus material in the water so if you see in the diagram which i have indicated below so this is the water let's think this is the water and along with this uh, in this water along with the fecus material the eggs will also be released and those eggs are called as unembryonated eggs so why it is called as unembryonated eggs because the larvae is not yet developed inside the cytoplasm of this egg hence it is called as unembryonated egg so now this unembryonated egg will get developed into embryonated egg in the water itself okay so in the water itself this unembryonated egg will get developed into embryonated egg so why it is called as embryonated egg because in this egg the larvae will get developed right hence it is called as embryonated egg so now what will happen now after some time or as after some days the hatching of that embryonated egg will be done so I have said you that embryonated egg is nothing but which contains larva inside its cytoplasm, right? So once that egg will undergo hatching process, then what will happen? Then the larva will get protruded out from that egg. And that larva which has been protruded out from this egg is called as L1 larvae, which is also called as first stage larvae, okay? First stage larva. So larva is singular form, larva is plural form. So I have mentioned here only one egg, so I'm going to call it as a larva. And we know that there are many eggs which will be produced by that worms, such that uh, I have mentioned here only one egg for your better understanding, okay? So now this is called as first stage larva. So the release of first stage larva will be done by the hatching of the egg. So this process will be done by the definitive hosts, right? And now here, first intermediate host will start its functioning. So what does this will do? So the best example of this first intermediate hosts are cyclopes, right? So what is the best example for this first intermediate host students? Cyclopes. So now what does the cyclopes will do? It starts feeding on this L1 larvae. We know that the L1 larvae has been protruded out from these eggs, right? So it will be now free in form. It will be free in water. So the cyclopes will start consuming on this L1 larvae, which is also called as first stage larvae, right? So now this L1 larvae will enter into the gut of the cyclopes and it will get developed into L2 larvae which is called as second stage larvae okay so now what will happen next now here the second intermediate host will perform its function so the best examples of the second intermediate hosts are fishes as well as the frogs okay so now what does this fishes and frogs will do it starts consuming on the cyclopes which are also called as first intermediate hosts but remember this first intermediate host contains L2 larvae L2 larva okay okay L2 larva so now once the cyclopes will get consumed by the secondary intermediate hosts which are also called as fishes and frogs even we know that the fishes and frogs are present in the water they survive in water right so once these are consumed so once uh, this consume this 
uh, first intermediate host then the l2 larvae will enter into the uh, gut of this frogs as well as the fishes so now what will happen so it will enter into the tissues of the frogs as well as the fishes and it will get developed completely into l3 larvae which is also called as third stage larva or as third stage larvae right and now the second intermediate hosts will be consumed by definitive hosts again right it will be consumed by definitive hosts and once they are consumed by the definitive hosts then what will happen then the l3 larvae are present in the second intermediate host right then those n3 larvae will enter into the stomach of these pigs dogs and cats that's nothing but the definitive host and once they enter into the stomach then it will get completely developed into adult worms right it will settle at the uh, you know at the wall of the stomach such that it will get completely developed into adult worms right so once it get completely developed into adult worms such that uh, we know that uh, the sexes are separate like if you take uh, you know uh, like male and me female female organisms as well as the male worms will be present over there such that they undergo the process of copulation and i mean uh, copulation is nothing but the fertilization process once the fertilization is done then it will reproduce the eggs right and those eggs will be released out through the fecus material in the water such that the total life cycle will get repeated and here one of the most important thing which people have to remember is that the l3 larvae will get converted into mature adult worm or else mature adult parasite inside the wall of the stomach of definitive hosts so now uh, up to here this is one of the way so coming to the another way so these frogs and fishes will also be consumed by the snakes and birds right so once they are consumed by the snakes and birds then here uh, the l3 larvae will be inactive in form but they are infective so here the uh, the number of the l3 larvae will not be increased but they are totally infective and once they are consumed by the pigs and dogs then it will show its effects right again i mean uh, it again uh, develop into adult worms such that it releases a fecus material along with the eggs right so now uh, this will be done and once these frogs or else fishes will be consumed by the human beings we know that uh, human beings consumes fishes and some other regions like in china they consume frogs right so once they are consumed by the human beings or if the pigs are consumed by the human beings right in the form of pork if they are consumed by the human beings then what will happen then the human being will also be infected right i mean how you, how it be consumed like if you take improper cooked food right if they are taken in the form of improper cooked food then what will happen then the human body will also be infected so this is human host and here also the l3 larvae will get converted into adult worms so once the uh, adult worms has been converted has been produced then it will move towards the stomach and then what will happen that the fecus material will also be released which contains eggs which are released by the adult worms by the process of copulation right or as fertilization so now once the fecus material is released then what will happen again the total process will get continued right so this is about the life cycle of nathostomiasis which is mainly caused by the parasites called as nathostoma spinigerum or as nathostoma hispidum so now let us learn about incubation period so what is the incubation period for this disease 3 to 4 weeks and coming to the hosts which are involved in this disease so i have said you there are totally five hosts which are involved there are definitive hosts first intermediate hosts second intermediate hosts human host and parentenic hosts so what are parentenic hosts actually so i forgot to say you that these fishes and frogs are consumed by the snakes and birds i have said you and here the birds includes like if you take ducks okay so these are called as parentic hosts the best examples of this parentenic hosts are snakes and birds okay so if you take the examples of definitive host pigs dogs cats examples of first intermediate host cyclops examples of second intermediate host frogs and fishes human host is nothing but the human beings parentenic hosts examples like if you take snakes and birds so coming to the symptoms of a person who is infected with this disease called dentostomiasis if you take fever vomiting abdominal pain rashes cough hematuria meningitis encephalitis and eosinophilia so these are the type of symptoms which you can see in a person who is infected with this disease called as dentostomiasis so if you like my explanation like the video and if you like my channel and you can also see some other videos on this parasitology the link will be given in the description box so open that playlist and watch all other videos on parasitology okay i mean other parasitic diseases so thank you for watching this video guys if you like my if you like my explanation you can uh, press the like button over there and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates thank you